What's up, everybody? It's the Bipolar Prophet, and welcome to a special uh, sort of bonus uh, video, I guess. You know, I've been doing a few of these lately. Um, this one is kind of cool. Uh, not too long ago, um, the Old Ridge a uh, Agricultural Heritage Society had a uh, sort of a get-together uh, where a bunch of, you know, tractor collectors and farmers in the area came down uh, to a farm in the Old Ridge Valley area, uh, actually the St. Hubbins Farm, um, owned by a man named David St. Hubbins. Um, and they had sort of an old time uh, farm day uh, where, you know, everybody brought tractors and implements and, and things like that. Uh, and they did a little farm work on uh, Mr. St. Hubbins farm. Uh, and it was really neat. And I recorded quite a bit of it. I kind of walked around to the various fields and, and, and things that were going on. Um, and uh, so this is actually recorded after all that uh, or before all that happened, actually. Um, so, you know, I really like this kind of stuff. I really like antique tractors and, and things like that. Um, you know, as a kid uh, growing up in America, I did, you know, my father and me used to restore old John Deere tractors. Uh, so I really got the old tractor bug, you know what I mean? Uh, and, and getting to see some of this stuff, which is obviously different from my experience as a kid, you know, working with old American tractors. Um, you know, this was really neat. So when I found out this was going on, I definitely wanted to come down, um, you know, and, and I actually signed up to be a member of the uh, Old Ridge uh, Agricultural Heritage Society. So uh, now I just need to find me an old tractor uh, to, to sort of, you know, work on and, and, and be a part of all this. So anyway, so I thought we'd walk around here um, in the beginning of this video and I'd show you some of the cool stuff that's down here. Um, everybody brought something. It's, you can see a couple of not ancient but you know older tippers and um and things like that uh one of the kind of funny things about this was is a lot of guys brought plows uh you know it, tractors are, are one of those things right where you sort of say you know well my tractor is more powerful than yours or my tractor will pull a bigger plow or, or whatever you know um and even though these tractors are old and you know and maybe not uh you know at 100 percent anymore although a few of them have been completely restored um you know, it's always that sort of, you know, that competitive edge. Well, let me show you how what my tractor will pull, you know. So we'll just take a, take a walk around here while everything's parked down here and show you what we got. Uh, listen, Massey Ferguson 698, again, not ancient, but uh, this thing was, you can see it's hooked up to a, you know, to an older cedar, uh, an old wheel-powered cedar here. Um, you know, and, and this thing was, uh, was going right along, you know. Uh, not a great tractor. You see a lot of these, not a great big tractor, I meant to say. Uh, you see a lot of these in this area. Massey Ferguson, Ferguson's being very popular in the UK, as you would imagine. Uh, this one's still kind of dirty, as you can see, because uh, it was working, uh, obviously, before they brought it here. So, <laughs> But uh, this one's all been restored and repainted and brought back up to its sort of original, um, you know, out of the factory appearance, which is really cool. So, uh, and Then over here, we have a, a really neat uh, little Valmat or Valtra. Uh, I think this is a 359D. Yep, it is. Uh, this has been fully restored, you know, bolt every bolt, every nut, every, you know, the tires, uh, the lights, and everything else. This was a cool little tractor, um, you know, and uh, this, the, the, the owner of this tractor didn't want to, didn't want to beat it up too much, you know what I mean? So uh, he basically just brought it down to show it, uh, but it was very cool, makes a great noise, which you guys will hear in a later part of the video. Uh, this is a big old universal, uh, I think this is a 1010 DT, yep. Uh, you can see now this tractor actually still gets used every day from what the, from what the farmer who brought it down told me. Um, so, you know, he was like, ah, I'm not going to bother cleaning it. I'm just going to bring it down, you know, and he's got a pretty good size, uh, you know, not super modern, but almost modern -er, uh plow on it, you know, reversing plow and all that. Um, and this thing had no issue hauling it whatsoever. So, you know, again, these guys are, you know, they're pretty competitive and they want to show, you know, hey, look at what my tractor can do. So uh, then an MB track, uh, you know, I didn't even know there's an MB track in the area. Uh, so this is pretty cool. I really like this. This makes a great noise. I hooked up to a, a one row uh, Mengele corn chopper uh, and there was some corn chopping at this. Um, as there always is at these things. It seems like, you know, they try to do all the, you know, all the farm stuff that you can do uh, with these old tractors, plow and, you know, and, and cultivate and seed and bale, uh, you know, and then obviously corn chopping because everybody loves to chop corn. So, and you will see that later. Uh, this is an old international um, over here. Uh, you know, again, not fully restored, but not in awful shape by any means, you know, and this thing, this thing went right along and did its job too. I, th I believe it did some, uh, some hauling of grain and whatnot when they did the harvest. Uh, they, they harvested a couple of fields across the street here. Uh, this is an old uh, Oleo Fiat uh, OM850. Um, this thing had some issues, you know. Uh, it it worked just fine, but, um, you know, it was a little finicky, and it didn't want to run good. I guess the owner is in the middle of a restoration of it, so, um, you know, he's it's sort of not 100% yet. Uh, hooked up to a big, you know, not a big, but a, a good-sized cultivator, as you can see, so... 
a lot of this stuff has been modified over the years, you know, to have hydraulics and whatnot added to it to make it, make it a little easier and to extend its lifespan a little bit. Uh, this is really neat because this is something I actually have some personal experience with. This is an old Fortson, um, you know, in, in, as you can see. Now, it runs and it works, and it, and it did. It was out in the fields pulling, uh, pulling that... Um, cultivator behind it there you know uh, but it hasn't been restored and the owner says he doesn't want to restore it he kind of wants to keep it in this condition uh, sort of as it's as a snapshot of its last working days on a farm you know this is really neat I've actually driven one of these in real life I've seen them you know I've been up close to them and everything um, and I'm trying to convince the guy that owns this to sell this to me <laughs> I'm not having much success but the owner of the Massey said oh absolutely I'll sell it to you you know for for a fair amount of money but I really want this but this guy's really not interested so I may be on the hunt to try to find another one somewhere I'm not really sure what this is um you know it's an older uh something or other um you know but uh it works really well a lizard uh you know two uh oh it's a, it does have a plate on it a lizard 2850c uh, I think though so bigger tractor you know uh, this thing makes a great noise plenty of power you know again not restored uh apparently this gets used uh not regularly but occasionally on the farm that it comes from so a lot of this stuff still gets used uh, this is an old crawler tractor, um, you know, that had been uh, completely sort of tore down and restored and, and everything else. Uh, this thing was really neat, made a great noise. You know, it's got these great big, uh, you know, this big four-cylinder diesel engine. Um, you know, each cylinder, you know, was probably six inches across by, you know, a foot long and just making a great noise um, and doing its thing, you know, pulling this plow here, uh, this sort of hand, this hand crank plow uh, that had been modified with uh, hydraulic. Uh, assembly on it, but this tractor doesn't have hydraulics, so the farmer actually had to, the guy who was running this uh, would get to the end of the row and actually have to get out and crank the crank the uh, the crank to lift the um, the furrows, you know, and then uh, go back down the other row. Obviously, this is far too old to be a reversing plow, so uh, what else do we have here? We have uh, an old mower there, and then this thing. Um, this is a, a, F a Ford Versatile, I think this is an 846, is it? Yep. 846 versatile. This was a monster. Uh, you can see the size of the plow that this thing was pulling. Um, you know, this, this was definitely the "Hey, look at me! I'm the big boy in the in the club" uh, sort of deal. You know, uh, this was a lot of fun to watch work. Fully restored, you know, and everything. I had a little custom touches on it here and there, but um, you know, still very very cool and and big and powerful. It made a great noise. Uh, and we also had a couple of combines, which is always nice. You know, old old uh, mower there. Um, you know, sort of grass lifter uh, kind of thing. A couple of old uh, old combines, which you guys will see uh, pretty soon in this video, actually, after I get done with my little walkthrough here. Old Cleason, as you can see, um, you know, very, very neat, you know, cool to watch. Really finicky, though, you know, the the, the, the green one overheated a lot, and the um, and the Cleason was kind of struggling a little bit, but still doing its job, still, you know, after, after, you know, tens of thousands of hours in the field and, you know, just millions of acres cut, still out there working, and it's so great to see these little tractors working because that's what they want to do. They don't want to just sit in a museum or sit in a barn somewhere. They want to be out working because that's what they're designed to do. Uh, not an ancient li uh, lily wi uh, wi wuggler, I can never say this word, baler, but still fun to watch. Made the, you know, made the smaller bales, uh, spit them out through that uh, sort of chute at the top. Um, you know, so, and it was really cool, and I, I'm going to break this down in a couple of episodes because there's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, and the first bit here, I think we're going to see uh, some, we're going to see harvest. I believe we're going to see some baling. Uh, and I think there was some plowing going on. Um, I think I, I filmed some plowing as well. Uh, and then in the next uh, part of this, we'll probably see some cultivation and some seeding. And then we'll see the corn chopping, which was really cool because all these tractors sort of got involved with the, except for the crawler, uh, got involved with the corn chopping, you know, hauling tippers and whatnot. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. What you're going to see coming up now is the sort of the beginning part, the harvest and all that. Uh, no music or anything, no commentary, just the great sounds of these things going. And I hope you guys enjoy this. As always, let me know what you think. Um, you know I mean, I hope you guys enjoy these little special sort of bonus things I throw in once in a while. I know I enjoy making them. This was a lot of work to set up, to find all these tractors, to get them working, to get them, you know, uh, to doing their thing and everything. But I really enjoyed it, and hopefully you guys do too. And as always, guys, let me know what you think, you know, and, and thank you for making me a part of your YouTube day. And this is the Bipolar Prophet saying, see you later.